Good evening, people. Okay, so I did some recording earlier today as I was out and about and I did my walking instead of my gymming. So that was good. My cats feel so much better right now. And I couldn't find it when I started clearing out my phone. Um, to actually make more space. Uh, for the storage and everything like I have to do um, but all I know is um oh that's the computer I thought it was a cat scratching the door I'm like what the heck um, but yeah uh, cleared out the space and everything so I don't know if I uploaded the crows that were flying overhead when I was walking through the park um, they were they just came out of nowhere like it was quiet, natural sounds and everything. And then as soon as I started going through the little wooded trail within the middle, almost like after the entrance, basically, of the park, then that's when they all started coming out. Like after like five minutes of walking, I'm like, oh, look at this, let me get the hammer out. So I can't remember if I actually posted that or not, but if I did, I did. If I didn't, then it's gone. <laughs> so I just deleted everything out. Oh, anyway. So, I hope everybody had a beautiful day. It was so beautiful outside. It was so amazing. I love it so much. I, mm, mm, mm. I just, it's been very peaceful today. Um, I don't know. It just seems like the more I, you know, talk about things, you know, that I experience, the better I feel. And, because it's like, it's not like when, you know, how like, when you are actually upset at stuff, you'll rehash it, um, and basically, you'll just basically rehash it as bullshit. And, not only are you not feeling better, but, you know, you're, um, it's like you're feeding that shit, okay? But... When you're actually cleared, cleansed, and healed, you know, from, you know, um, the past, you know, uh, psychological bullshit that's been thrown at you, the painfulness that, you know, maybe your body has experienced, you know, like what I went through and everything, like, I mean, seriously, once all that stuff clears out, and you, your eyes aren't just, you know, seeing things, but it's just, it's your inner eye, your outer eyes, and your whole soul. Like, everything feels and sees it and can transmute it into, oh, shit. Okay, I got this. Because now you're realizing, you know... Everything that you've always said happens for a reason. And it's not just saying everything happens for a reason, but you're actually experiencing all the shit that is happening. And it's just like, really? Oh, shit. You ain't looking for truth. You weren't trying to do this. You weren't trying to do that. And next thing you know, you found it. It's like, really? Okay. It's like, okay, so this is how that, you know what? Shit lines up nicely. It does. And then you start seeing, you start understanding, you know, more of why people do the things they do. I mean, I always knew why I did my shit, but not to the fullest extent. And... Quite honestly, I don't believe that's it. You know, it's possibly more because you're always learning things. And that's the beautiful part of being a freaking being, you know, that can just take it all in and, you know, cycle through the shit. And just be like, oh, wait, I got this. Oh, wait, that lines up with that. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. And then you just start adding the shit together. And then when you come 
and make contact with people, okay, that are unapologetically themselves, okay, and are showing you their true self, like, right then and there, it's, it's fucking, it's such a difference, okay, in that type of a frequency, that your mind and your whole, it just takes it all in and it just loves it because it's just like wait a minute this this is this is truth like oh my god i never known people to be so fucking honest like seriously unapologetically without you know any underhandedness and if there is it's like oh i see that this person's like this so I'm going to just level up and keep it real. And it just stays that way. And it's just like, it is such a beautiful feeling. And I love it so much. I really do. So then you start actually being able to come into yourself a little bit more. Because when you start, you know, connecting with people that are unapologetically themselves. And that, you know, basically they're not trying to bend your will into their own. And even if you sense that they are, when they see that you don't give, it's like, oh, okay, we can talk, we can be cool, you're not one of those types. It's like, oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> it's funny as shit, though, because it's just like, okay, uh-huh, got you now. So it's one of those things of, oh, yeah, if you take, if you take the treat, you were hungry, so take the full plate, and you better eat it. But I wasn't hungry. But you took it, so you are hungry. No, that's manipulation. You weren't fucking hungry. Like, (laughs) but it's a beautiful thing when you know, um, when your eyes, all of them, and your whole field can take everything that you experience and line it up, okay? And you can decipher everything you can you can just you see it so it's just like one of those things where it's just like it was in front of my face the whole time and i've been saying this shit over and over again for years and yet and still i played nice and then it's like that's why that little voice comes out of me every now and then whenever i say nice and like hey yeah um nice means full nice means full nice means full nice means full now it's one thing to actually be a fool to be a fool but to be nice and get mistaken for a actual fool a actual person that's not just acting in that foolish energy but idiotic that's why it was used as fool in the old English. So, yeah. I taught my boys this years ago. And yet and still, I will sit here and still use the word knowing, okay? Knowingly not to use the damn word, okay? And when I sit here and I do that, I'm like, mm-mm. I gotta take that back. Oh, well, that wasn't nice. Oh, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm sorry, I'm not your fucking fool. <laughs> anyway. I gotta move this. Yeah. So, I cleared out my space again. I did it earlier. I had to do it again because... It's getting late, and I always, you know, make sure. So, um, I started another bracelet. So, this will be the top. Now, I just got to bind this. So it can just clasp on. So this is what I've been working on. 
see I had it done but I really didn't like it so I clipped them off <laughs> if it's not you know I try I what already finished this thing two or three times already first attempt I didn't care for second attempt I didn't care for so now we got pearl sticks pearl copper sticks anyway we are going to draw some cards and we are going to find out what we are going to be talking about tonight okay before my bedtime <laughs> shit yeah, I swear, I was not yawning until I came back in here to start working with the car. So, something's like, oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay, that means I will. I will. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to, but I will. <laughs> you just don't know. Please, I bullshit. You should know this by now. I already did this earlier, but like I said reshuffle because it's been some time passing and you know that's just how I do things time pass and if I had them shuffled because I was going to do something earlier but then I had to get out of here for my walk because I was running kind of late and I knew that he had the bike riding thing and I'm not about to be wandering walking around trying to dodge out a bunch of kids on the bike and everything and adults and everything I mean I love the cyclists and stuff but I'm like um I can, I can, I can just watch y'all from a distance because, you know, I miss riding bikes. I miss doing my active shit that I used to be able to do all the time. So fun. But, hey, it is what it is. When I'm able to get back on one. I'm able to get back on one. But, I don't think anything would be wrong. I really don't. Like... I don't know. Just figure it out one of these days. Anyway. Some more things I'm worried about right now. Not even worried about, but I'm busy with. So, whatever happens will happen. Hmm. Empress. So, we're talking about an empress again. Okay, um, what's going on with the Empress? Empress, basically, everybody knows the Empress. Empress is a, um, divine being. She is, uh, you know, and especially if she's in her higher frequency, she can create, she births, she gives life to things, you know? She leads her vibe everywhere, okay? Everywhere she goes. Now, what's falling on top of her? King of Swords. Okay, so we have the Empress card that came out in the upright, and over on top of like a fucking hawk is the King of Swords, okay? So the King of Swords is um, an excellent judge of character, okay? And um, it seems as though he is on this queen, no, this Empress. Um, she is, uh, she's being guarded. Guarded, protected, watched over. Uh, yeah, watched over seems a little bit more fitting since the car landed right on top of her ass. Like, literally on top of her. And it was face down. So he's watching her. Okay, it's this, this man, the birds are in the sky. This is, um, this is somebody who is watching. Okay messages birds watchers king of swords protective 
good character, honorable. And he's in the upright. He's protecting the empress. Okay. Um, now, what uh, other cards came out with this was the two of swords in the reverse. So there is a uh, manifestation, a magician, okay, um, creator, okay, manifester, finesser, um, that is actually over here, okay, creating, and it was not, um, it wasn't taken too kindly, because he came out in the reverse, okay, He was trying to manifest a situation with this empress. And something went wrong. There's a knight of swords energy that's rushing towards the two of wands. So since this knight of swords is rushing over to the two of wands. Um, I'm looking at this as there was a market communication at some point. That had this... Um, this energy of the king of swords feeling as if there was rejection okay then you have the ten of swords okay somebody was trying to backstab an individual here whether it was the Empress, the King of Swords, um, or what have you, we, we got to get a little bit deeper because I got clarified as King of Swords and this um, Two of Wands energy over here. Because uh, something, it lines, but it's not lining up to me. It really isn't. Unless this King of Swords is the manifester that is watching over this Empress that is in the reverse, basically, and was trying to bend will. And was stopped. That could be a situation, of course. Um, you know, people are crazy like that. So, um, yeah, that could actually be a situation. Uh, you gotta look at things from multiple perspectives. Because you just can't put past anything nowadays. Um, so, there could be um, an uh, inter uh, individual... You know, that's protecting a loved one of some sorts in trying to watch over them, protect them. That may have went kind of wrong in a way and was cut off, you know, kind of swiftly um, without really getting any um, sight into what was going on, okay, which was going to... Um, that was leaving somebody, you know, feeling like they got stabbed in the back. But in all actuality, it came out in reverse, which means they didn't get stabbed in the back. Um, okay. So, like I said, that could be one situation. But we're going to clarify some more because I'm not really sure. Okay? Um... So, I'm just going to leave that right there. And now let's start the other situations that I can see. Alright. Um, God damn it. Okay, clarify the King of Swords. <laughs> I was thinking about it and as I was speaking it, the card flew out. Um, the King of Swords, basically... Uh, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands are being redirected to King of Swords. Okay, it's being returned. Uh, King of Swords is watching over an Empress, okay? And these Eight of Wands, they are... Um, they're coming in the reverse. 
and the way I'm looking at them and because I was asking about the king of swords it really looks like they're flying towards this king of swords that's over this 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 empress what the fuck that could like I said that could have been a situation right um please clarify the eight of wands in reverse for the king of swords motherfucker judgment and the upright is being called on this king of swords I'm not going to go into too much detail because it was catty corner like this on top of, you know, when it came out, it was over her, but it was judgment for the king of swords. Okay. So that makes sense. It's judgment for the king of swords in the upright. And because of the way that it landed, it crossed totally over the fucking empress. Just touching the king of swords. So basically, judgment has been called on the King of Swords energy over an Empress. Okay? Conflict is being sent or whatever was created to go against. Something has been returned to the King of Swords. Okay? So it looks like the King of Swords was... Um, let me clarify the other cards. Because I'm not getting... My time is short. <laughs> Knight of Cups is in the reverse. Okay. Knight, Knight of Cups are in the reverse. Okay. And if that's clarifying the Judgment card and the Wands card and everything that's coming out over this situation over here, then... um. This King of Swords had a, it had a, a, a empty offer. And he got right. And basically, gifts are just out of reach now. Because of this Knight of Cups energy, gifts for that King of Swords are out of reach being blinded held back tied up into situations that are leaving not only the king of swords guarded but are leaving the empress guarded this nine of wands Nine of Wands. Okay. So this King of Swords is watching something from a distance, it looks like. Watching from a distance. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Something cleared up. Um, it's in the reverse, so it's not. It's not being totally cleared up because your stars are backwards. But that fell over the Ten of Swords, which are in the reverse, which means somebody didn't get stabbed in the back. Somebody didn't get stabbed in the back. But the Five of Pentacles came out in the reverse over the Nine of Wands to the energy that's watching from a distance.
it's like they trying or they try to figure out something and whatever was coming into their thoughts you know um had them stuck there for a while they had them stuck there for a while they they weren't sure of what was going on Somebody might have gotten clarity or something. Can we, um... What's going on with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles? What is going on? Can you clear up the situation over here, please? What's going on with the situation? I don't need a crap load, but I probably will get a crap load because I don't want people to be into that. God damn it. Clear up the situation, please. Who are we talking about? What situation is this? So, yeah. If you happen to run by me, <laughs> I might be reading your shit out loud someday. Who knows? I'll never tell. Okay. Uh, being stabbed in the back. Okay. Uh, somebody um, ended up pulling these swords out of their back. Okay. They come to see that uh, what's been going on, okay, being left out of um, the Four of Wands was in a standstill position, okay? So they were in a situation that was stagnant, that was standing still, that they had to sit here and uh, they were either going to be put to death and sacrificed or they were going to sacrifice the situation. They didn't know what to do. Um, but I think this energy, okay, I think this energy that is in the Ten of Swords, in the reverse, I believe that, um, that they, uh, healed their own wounds. I think they got out of a situation, they got clarity of some sorts, yeah, exactly what I said earlier, they got clarity on a situation that they were, uh, viewing or walking in on walking in on oh that would be so fucked up <laughs> i hope nobody walked in on this shit <laughs> um clarify this knight of swords please there's a lot of swords and a lot of wands okay and there's a few cups in this bitch what is the knight oh tower Knight of Swords. Messenger coming in hot. On that white horse. Full of messages and growth. And the divine. And yes, I'm looking at the image and I'm just reading how it is. Basically, this messenger right here on this horse caused a tower moment. Tower moment tower moment to this manifester that was in the reverse that was in a lower energy Ooh, how did you do that what did you do you got unstuck and you did some fucking chaotic shit <laughs> oh, oh come on man two for one Oi. no mm, okay Okay, so we see this tower coming in, right? And this tower is coming in from the Knight of Swords. So, towards this Two of Wands energy, does in reverse, which is a negative manifester. 
I'm looking at it as. That's all I'm saying. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm saying. As he say. Six of Cups. And they're full and flourishing and beautiful. And it's being handed to the, the innocents. The children. The child. Okay. Um... And it's in somebody was looking up to somebody that walked away, that went to a distance, went too far, went too far, went too far. Somebody was looking up to somebody that went too far. Lining up their cups and passing them out. Lining up a bunch of different situations and gifting Gifting them all from past to present. Ten of Cups are in the reverse. And that's, um, that came out underneath that, which is clarifying this whole situation. And this is fulfillment of, uh, you know, just what it is, fulfillment. It's not happening. It's in the reverse. Whatever happened in this situation after this tower moment, whether it already happened or it's going to happen or it's happening, um, yeah, somebody did some fucked up shit from the past, brought it into the present with innocence involved and offering full cups, trying to get away. And taking shit too far and having to leave. Which left this manifester that was in a lower energy in the re uh in the reverse with their ten of cups in the reverse as well. All blessings dropped. And then what was on top of the deck was you reap what you sow with the seven of pentacles. Basically their fulfillment is exactly what they sewed into the ground. They did it like this. They got it how they gave it. That's all that means. So this situation right here was just, you know, um, they got it how they gave it. 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 You reap what you sow. However they got into the situation. They were planning on leaving out this situation. But that's not what happened. They were trying to leave out the situation fulfilled uh, with more than, you know, what they had from the past. They didn't expect this tower to knock them out and making them reap what they sown and into this whole entire situation. Somebody was trying to get away with something. What were they trying to get away with in this situation? Temperance card. Tempest card. Clarify this tempest card for the situation, please. Because like, the hell? It was it was supposed to go like this. Truth. Um a divine partnership. Giving, receiving, building, guidance. Foot in the water, foot on the land. Rise over the mountain, shine his light onto this. You're seeing, your heart, you're giving. This was a divine situation. This is a partnership. This is this was supposed to be a partnership of fulfillment.
somebody's in the nine of swords Clarify this temperance nine of swords energy, please. Somebody is stuck in their head about something. Somebody's having um, some sort of thoughts. Um, negative, negative thoughts. Not so good. Okay. That's not really good. You know, nothing is, is worth, you know, your mental health. It really isn't. Like, some shit is hard, <laughs> you know nothing's really you know easy it's just nothing's worth being stuck in your head about anything you went out first you were out first ace of swords are in the reverse And that's with the um, the four cups. The hermit card. And the three of wands. Okay, so... We have the... And, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to do it the way that it came out to me, not the way that it should be. <sighs> Nine of Swords. Somebody was stuck in their head about something. And more than likely that's because this was an honest situation, okay? Um, honest individuals honest feelings truth honorable 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 that's all i'm hearing um and it was guided it was guided that way but uh this had to happen uh we have the nine of swords this destroyed almost it seems if not no it didn't destroy it almost it it tormented Okay, it played on somebody's it played on somebody's psyche. Okay, or it's playing on somebody's psyche. Um I would say headaches, uh moodiness, uh mood swings happening probably. Loss of um comfort and sleep, you know? Um then we have the uh four of cups the four of cups came out and like i said i had to grab it had i seen it not how you know it was thrown but yeah somebody was offered a cup but the cup they were offered and <laughs> they didn't want um you know the divine was guiding it in like here you go take your cup uh you got four this person was like no i don't want it you know it, it really didn't care for that it wanted more um but the divine guided it that way. The ace of swords in reverse. Um, the situation. Okay. And the ace of swords is a card that actually flew. And landed. Um, but it was backwards so I couldn't see what it was. Um, so this ace of swords is in the reverse. Okay. This is basically... Um, Something that had to have happened in this situation because of what was guiding it, okay? This is a divine situation over here. This is a this is um, a union that is actually supposed to uh, work together. But it couldn't do it. It was too much stuff going on within the situation that divine, it, you know, plunged his sword down into it. You know? And he got right. It would have been a truthful situation. It would have been righteous. It would have been trust. Truth, basically. 
And the reverse, it's not saying that it's not true, but it's saying that it had to be, you know, um, it had to be dealt with harshly from a higher standpoint. Whatever the hell that means, I don't know. The sword is right at his, you know what? I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> the sword is aiming at something. Anyway, be careful with some sharp objects. That's like I say, dudes. <laughs> Shit. And that's a masculine energy right there. Um, the hermit. This, uh, the hermit is, um, is, is, this person could be in solitude. Three of Wands, just watching, watching his ship sailing away, watching what he uh, stood there and walked in the doorway and created. Okay, um, really? No, we're not doing this whole entire half the deck falls out bull crap, man. No, no, no. You're going to do them one by one, or we're not going to play this game. Okay. Now, clarify this three of wands and this hermit. Uh, why was, why did the divine step into the situation to stop? Okay, what came out and flipped over so it could be seen first was the king of cups. That's why. There's a king of cups that is watching the situation, Okay. Hangman. There's a king of cups. <laughs> Watching the situation. Contemplating. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> There's some fucking shit. Uh, the hierophant is in this this shit, okay? This is <laughs> this is divinely guided. Um and being watched over. There's a page of swords here. Messages, birds. This energy right here is cutting out all fucking nonsense. This energy right here is a guard, a protector. It's not delivering messages but it's cutting out the crap it's it's stopping that shit like no like somebody's blocking shit somebody's blocking out messages messages of the situation What are these messages? A reverse high priestess. And that flew over that king of swords. King of swords that's watching over that empress is being guided by a reverse high priestess, a high priestess in the reverse energy. Um, somebody could be listening, to, well, somebody could be or is listening to the wrong people. Um, and possibly, it's, um, it's doing it purposely. You know, people, they fucking lie for their advantages you gotta see what the hell people are trying to do trying to get or want and then it's just like oh okay now i see why you like the way you are okay gotcha so who is this high priestess in reverse Ooh, ooh. in the reverse two of cups 
High Priestess wants something. She wants an offer. And she's causing conflict. But it went into the reverse, just like the Two of Cups. So this High Priestess tried to pull some bullshit. And she may have gotten away with it with one person. <laughs> or a few people here. Um, but, like, it looks like shit is um, starting to catch back up. And um, monkeys are fucking flinging that shit right back at her. Okay. So, we got a high priestess in the reverse giving out false information to somebody about a situation that was divinely guided. Because you can see the deer on the path right here. So, she fucking reversed that shit. She's like, give me that. Um, I'll take that, please. Thank you. And now, she's trying to cause the conflict and everything. Or has tried to cause conflict. But that shit went in the reverse. It didn't go as planned anyway. Um... So, it looks like, um, you know, they end up fighting amongst each other instead of, you know, dishing out the shit to cause people to fight over them, I'm guessing. Nine of Cups in the reverse. That's a truthful situation. Um, and that is happening, okay, to, uh, to an honest, uh, energy. All their cups, you know, are, uh are lined up and you know they pour everything out into everything you know so this is somebody that you probably wouldn't even expect this shit to be coming from okay but at the same time you know they're operating in their negativity they're not operating five of cups again i call this the hermit card five of cups and this person already lost three of their cups. So, you know, they already spilled some shit over. They already lost some shit. They still got a couple cups in the background. But whatever they had in the cups that were in the forefront, mm -mm, they're done with. They're going. They're selling away from this person, this individual here, or these individuals. Because um, they see that they're losing out on things being around them. They're walking away with the seven, with the eight of cups. They're walking away from the eight of cups. They're giving up on a situation. They're not trying to lose out any more than what they already have. And this is coming from an emperor in reverse. So this is the emperor. This is the emperor. That's the empress. But the emperor, she, the emperor, she he is in a reverse energy, which is a very childish, very nasty uh cold-hearted type of you know game playing energy okay and he's like this to the queen of swords basically um you know you have this uh feminine growth this energy you know um she's a teller she's she's guided um she's intuitive uh, as you can see with what she's wearing and, you know, what's on her, you can see that, you know, she is, um, she is a, uh, not only a queen, but she can see she's a, she's a priestess of some sorts. Okay. Um, she knows secrets. She, and she knows how to, you know, stand up for herself. She knows how to judge. She knows how to handle the things that are coming towards her so she welcomes it so she can you know either let it pass or cut it down she is a messenger she knows secrets okay but the emperor is in the reverse towards the king uh queen of swords okay and like i said um page of wands you know messages knowing how to uh create you look out with open eyes and you know you're able to wield something from nothing or from whatever you have you know somebody does not like that
Now, over the situation that led to the tower moment, because this is where the card landed. It landed in the reverse over the four of wands on its side, okay? So, when I flipped this over, this is what it was like, okay? This one came out, and this is how it was. So, that's exactly why that situation was a dead end, because somebody kept on getting stabbed in the back repeatedly. Um, and finally decided that it wasn't going to be again, and didn't allow it to happen this time which put a hold on things and the reason why i put a hold on things because it was in the reverse of pentacles the whole time the whole time it was an unfair balance in the situation that was not seen explain the situation i'm just oh my god i got 58 minutes let's keep on going come on I'm almost done now. Shit. And <laughs> this is going to take all night to upload. Um. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. Coming in. Combined with the Page of Pentacles on the side. So we have a Knight of Wands energy coming in with uh, secrets, known secrets, um, offerings and secrets to, to, to say, messages and secrets and giving of, um, of gifts, okay? But since that's on his side and the Knight of Wands crosses it, you know, on top, I'm like, um, I'm not really sure that this Knight of Wands is actually going to deliver whatever messages or gifts or whatever that it's claiming to know or have it looks like it's coming in quickly though but those pages of pentacles are on hold okay and again this is probably clarifying why those pages of the page of pentacles are on hold that this knight of wands is carrying towards this 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 page of wands that the queen of the sword of swords um energy is portraying because she's in the sword energy okay so he's coming in with an offer okay but is holding on to that offer not really giving it up the seven of wands is explaining how this energy does not have a vantage point and is trying to find one because he's constantly fighting off conflict from the six of swords no, the six of wands. All oh, these swords and wands. Anyway. Ooh. Somebody's trying to leave with the high priestess in reverse, it looks like. Or the high priestess in reverse is trying to move away from a situation. Okay. Um, take it however it resonates with you. Uh, this energy could be coming in, trying to take something, trying to get something, uh, trying to finish something, trying to start something, and then leave, okay, to go back to the high priestess that's in the reverse energy, okay? So somebody could be coming in for a short time. To run away for a long time with some more info trying to bring you know energy back down probably or this high priestess in the reverse is probably running away from the situation like oh fuck it i give up i'm out i got it i got what i wanted and and, and i'm going <laughs> however it resonates it resonates if it doesn't then don't make it <laughs> but it's just little situations here and there and like i said things will get jumbled especially like the more people I'm around. That's why I like to clear shit constantly. Because I don't take on other people's shit. But I do notice when I start portraying more of them within myself than myself within myself. And that's when I have to, hey, what the fuck is going on? Nope. Stop that shit. Mm -mm. We have somebody that is not working right now. They're stuck at work. I 
They're stuck working on something. It's not that they're not working. They're stuck working on something. What are they working on? They're stuck. They're stuck working on something. They're building pentacles. They're making pentacles. You're making pentacles. But you're not making pentacles if it's in the standstill position. Okay, so somebody... Why can't you? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles that's in the standstill position. Three of Cups. Stuck because of a group situation. Um, three of Cups in the upright. Somebody, uh, harvest, somebody, uh, collected something. Somebody got something for a group of people. Or got something from a group of people. That's just name. Oh, shit. Yeah, that could have been it because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. Okay? And then we have the Two of Cups, which is from a juggler. So, yeah, somebody is running away. It seems like. Or somebody is giving up on a situation and it's just keeping things calm, it seems like. Running away, keeping things calm, running away with the high priestess. Maybe the high priestess run away. Whatever it is, somebody is stuck working on something due to a group, okay? Activity. Three of Cups. Group activity of some sort that was going on. Some shit went down here that was not right. And basically everybody in the situation got the negative karmic end of the will. Um, due to mishandling and juggling situations that were not supposed to be juggled. Now, you have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. All blessings have fallen apart within this group activity and their situations. Everything is returned to the mother due to the workings of negativity that was done in the dark and brought to light. All right, so that's it, people. We have 57 minutes on the clock. And, well, this situation, it was a few of them in there. <laughs> but like I said, I just uh, clarified the one really uh, kind of semi-quickly after I got finished rambling in the beginning. And then I uh, went through the rest of them um, as I seen it. And that was the rest of the reading was in one until we got to the... And I'm like, oh hold up <laughs> either this is her by herself or him by himself or 